It is Coach Louise here today in our next video in our Coach Care and Connect series so that you can work out anytime and anywhere. Today I have a core booster workout for you. I'm pointing at my core here. Our core is everything from our neck down to about our hips. So of course that includes our tummy and our low back, which is going to be super important in every one of our movements today. We have 10 different movements. We're going to work for 40 seconds with only 20 seconds of rest, and we will repeat that twice today. You'll see that the workout has a lot of repeat movements because we're going to do everything on the right side of our body and then everything on the left side of our body. So same movements, just one side and then the other. As far as equipment is concerned, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell around, you can use that. And if you do not have one of those items around, you can use something around your house like a water jug, uh, some heavy soup cans, or a paint can like I have back behind me. Just make sure that the lid is on very, very, very tight if you're going to use a paint can. And then if you happen to be on a hard surface, so a wood or tile, you'll probably want to grab like a yoga mat because we will be doing some movements down on our knees as well. Before we get going, uh, as I grabbed that paint can, it got me thinking about all of the household projects that we have going on right now. I'm sure some of you have a few as well or a honey-do list in the very least uh, with some extra time on your hands. So tell me what you guys are working on around the house. We are finishing up our what my husband calls man cave and I call our downstairs living room. Um, so that's one of our big projects that we have. Tell me what you've got going on and then we're gonna jump right into our workout. I'm gonna go through all 10 like usual as our warm up. so just follow along and then we'll get right to working out. So first movement, I'm gonna step on back here. Remember, you might need a mat if you're on a hardwood and we are going to grab my paint can or again if you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell grab one of those i'd like for everybody to put it in their right hand we're going to start everything on the right side and come down to your knees uh paint can on the right side on my knees i want everybody to come up onto their left foot and then come to a full standing position and squeeze your glutes or your booty when you get to the top come down on the right side and come back to kneeling. So let's do two more together. Up onto the left knee, stand up, back onto the right knee, and back down to the left. Left foot up, right foot follows, right knee down, left knee follows. Come on up. Anybody who cannot go down to a kneeling position, I'd like for you to do this same movement in a, in a lunge position. So if I'm standing here, Standing up straight, I want you to just lunge down and come right back up again, as far down as you can. Let's put that pink can off to the side, and we're gonna come down into a push-up position. And here, for our next movement, everybody, right side again. We're gonna push up down to the floor. I'm gonna stay there, lift my right leg, and push back up again. So here's what it looks like. Follow along, we'll do a few. Push down to the floor, Lift my right leg, drop it down, push back up. Push up to the floor, lift my right leg. My whole leg is off the ground as much as I can. It stays straight, drop, push back up. Let's do one more together. Push up down, right leg lifts. Push right back up again. Okay, anybody who has a hard time doing a push up itself, you're gonna hold a high plank position and you're gonna just lift your right leg. Lift, tap, lift, and tap the floor. Okay, we're gonna flip right onto our backs. Grab your weight that you have, put it up and above your head, and right leg, this is a dead bug, right leg is going to extend over the floor and come back. Extend over the floor and come back. If you can't go all the way to the floor, you can just extend right out, almost kicking towards the ceiling, that's fine. As far down as you can go or your, or your back allows you to go. Let's do two more together. One and 
two. Okay. All right. We're going to come up into a standing position here. Oh, let me tell you, if for any reason you can't come down to the floor to do that uh, dead bug, the other thing that I can have you do is standing straight up and you can lift opposite, I have to think about this, <laughs> opposite arm and opposite leg and hold here for just a minute, but stay on that same side, or not a minute, but a few seconds and hold, okay? For the rest, onto our next movement. We're going to do a single armed row in a deadlift position. So I want you to hinge at your hips like you're a teapot or a coffee pot. And I want you to pull this weight on the right side only up kind of towards your armpit or, or kind of back towards your hips, if you will. Pull, good, and back. Let's all do three more of these. Three, two, and one. Now, if being bent over is tough on your back, you can do this in a high row. So just stand up straight and come up to your armpits, leading with your elbow, okay? Let's set that down, and then everybody, we're gonna do an inchworm. So I'm gonna stand up nice and straight here. I'm gonna hinge over at my hips, touch my toes, and walk out to a high plank. Walk back, touch my toes, and continue walking out to a high plank and right back. Let's do one more of those together. Come on out, high plank, and walk back. If you can't come down to the ground, you can do this one on a wall where you start in a push-up position, straight back, and you can walk your hands up towards the ceiling, hold for a moment, walk back down. Okay, now we're gonna take that pain can we're gonna put it into our left hand and everybody come down to a kneeling position. Here, kneeling, I want right foot up, left leg follows. Left knee down, right leg follows. Two more together. Right foot up, left leg follows. Left knee back, right leg follows. Right leg up, left follows. Left down, right back. If you are standing straight up, you're gonna do that in a lunge position. Okay, push-ups. All right, high push-up position. Drop to the floor, lift your left leg, and push up right back. Three of those together, left side, push down, lift, push up. Two more, push down, lift, push up. One more, push down, lift up, Push up. Okay, switching over to our dead bug. Grab your paint can. Make sure it's the right way and it doesn't spill. Only left side. Left leg lowers to the ground. Let's do three of these together. Three, two, and one. Set that on the floor and let's come on up. Remember, if you're standing and doing that dead bug, you're gonna stand, lift your right arm, your left leg, hold for a second, drop down. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and hold. All right, then for our deadlifts, rowing on the left side. Hinge over at your hips, hold here, and pull back towards in between your shoulder and your hips, pull back, good. Pulling movements at home without equipment are really hard to do. So I really hope that you have found something like a paint can, water jug, uh, to be able to do this with me. Good, let's do two more. Two and one. Remember, if you're not hinging over, you're standing and you're doing a high row leading with your elbows. And then we've got another inchworm. We're doing inchworms four times throughout this workout. So we're here, we hinge over, we touch our toes, we walk out, or inch out, I guess would be an appropriate way to say that. High plank and inch back to your toes. Walk out and hold, inch back. Or you're on the wall, high plank, walk, inch to the top, Inch back. Those are your two choices. Okay. All right, you guys. That is our warm up. 
We're gonna get going. Remember, we start everything on our right side, and then we'll do it on our left. We'll repeat everything twice. Remember, think about your core the whole time. Keep your tummy and your low back engaged. I'm setting the timer, 10 second countdown, and then we're starting kneeling, paint can in the right hand. All right, here we go. Right hand, kneeling, up, good. Left leg up, good. Right leg follows, right knee down. Left foot follows, left knee up, stand up, right knee down, and left follows. Keep going, left foot up, right follows, right knee down, and left follows. We've got 40 full seconds of this movement. I think we've only got about 10 left though. Good, keep going. Wonderful, dropping down. Good, Ooh, it's already beeping at us. Good, okay, just take a second here, or 20 I guess. Uh, oh, we're not switching the pinky, what am I talking about? We're going down to the floor, I'm sorry, for our push-ups. And, High plank position, everyone. Push up down to the floor. Drop. Lift the right leg. Drop it. Push up. All the way to the floor. Right leg up. Push up. Keep going. Good. Wonderful. Lift that right leg. And up. Some of you might be right here in a high plank and just lifting that right leg. Good. Either way, I want you to make sure that your back is flat when you're in the high plank position. Wonderful. Okay. Switching over to our dead bug. If you need to stand and do this, go to your standing position. 10 seconds to get ready. Hold that paint can up above your head. Knees and ankles are in line. And right leg only, drop to the floor. Come back, this one, you should feel your tummy. You should feel your low back a little bit. If you feel a pain that hurts, however, don't go so low. You don't need to touch the floor on this one. But when we talk about a core booster workout, here, here's where you should feel it being boosted, to say the least. Great. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Sometimes when we are doing core work, we tend to hold our breath. Don't do that today or ever. Good. Okay, set that down and come on up. We have our single armed row in our deadlift position. So I'm gonna get ready here. Woo, I have a dog. <laughs> I can see the dog hair all over me in my black shirt. Hinge and pull. Pull in between that shoulder and your hips. Pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades. So if I had a piece of paper in between your shoulder blades, when I came back here and squeezed, you should almost hear it like crinkle. That means you're squeezing, you're touching that paper with your shoulder blade. Pull, all on this right side. Great, remember some of you might be more comfortable up here and pulling into a high row position. Great, Ooh, we're already beeping. Okay, set that to the side. We've got our first set of inchworms. Get your space. Start with your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna get ready to hinge over at our hips. Three, two, one. Hinge, touch your toes, inch, out. High plank, inch, back. Touch your toes, inch, out. High plank, you, Got the pattern, keep going. Some of you might be on the wall right now. Perfect. 
Good. Only 10 seconds to go. Good. Okay, we are halfway. So we're gonna take that paint can, start kneeling again, but move it over to your left hand for me. So, kneeling, left hand, nice and straight, and good. Right foot comes up, left follows, left goes back. Follow along. Some of you might be standing and you are doing that static lunge position just on your right foot forward, left foot is back. When you're doing that and the paint can is in your left hand, good. Whenever we put a weight just on one side, our body wants to pull us to that side. Our job is to use our core, so my tummy, my back, and keep my spine in a straight line. Don't let gravity take over and pull that weight to the side. Okay, we're down to the floor for our push-up and leg lift. We'll get ready in a high plank position first. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders in line. Feet back. Push up to the floor. Lift the left leg. Push up back. Drop to the floor. Left leg. Push up. Good. Now as you lift that back leg, think about lifting from the hip. So my knee is not bent. It is straight. I lift from my hip. Good. Some of you might be in a high plank. Just lifting and tapping. That is just fine. Five seconds. Okay, flip over for that dead bug. Left leg's gonna go down. Hold above your head. Some of you might do this just standing, don't forget. And lifting opposite arm and opposite leg. The rest of us drop only the left leg. as far down with that leg as your back is gonna allow. As your coach, I can't see you, so I can't see if your back is getting, I can't even do it, there we go, <laughs> getting a big arch in it, but I don't want that, okay? If you're getting that, please don't go down quite as far. Good, you can just press right out in front. Good, great, you've got this. Okay, set that down and we will come on up and go into that single armed row. I will wipe the dog hair off of me. I'm probably not the only one doing that if I, if I had to guess. And feet about hip width apart, hinge and row. Same thing here with that weight on one side. My body and the gravity wants to pull don't let that happen. Keep your spine straight. Remember, we're working your core today. I want you at the end of today, even after the workout and before you go to bed, you'll, you'll know that your abs are there if you've done this right. Good. Every time you chuckle or, or laugh, great. Okay, set that off to the side. Our second round of our dead bugs, either on the floor here or against the wall. Get ready, stand up straight. And we've got three, two, and one. Inch, walk, inch out, high plank, inch back, touch the toes. Woo, I can hear my shoulders cracking away and making all kinds of noise. Uh, I hope that you can't hear that. <laughs> it's, it 
it sounds a lot worse than it feels. Good. Okay, you guys and gals, we are halfway through already. So go ahead and get some water. Take this time to let me know again what projects that you are working on around the house and not just let me know, but you're connecting with everybody um, that's, that's watching. And some of you will probably start reading that list and add a few things to that honey, honey do list. Um, but what a good time to get a few things done around the house. I'm gonna grab that water and then we're gonna start again kneeling or standing, depending on where you're at today, with that paint can or weight in the right hand. Okay. All righty, here we go. We're in round two. Right hand, left foot comes up, and the right follows. Right goes down first though, and the left follows. Great, good job everybody. You might have your hand out to the side like me to help you with your balance. Maybe you've got it here at the side. Whatever is comfortable for you. Good. We've got 15 seconds left. Great. I hope some of you have our playlist on. Playlists on in the background. Good. All right. Let's just set that to the side. We'll get ready for our push-ups with the right leg lift. If you've got that playlist on or, or one of them that's on our site, crank it up. We're over halfway done. <clears throat> Push up, down, lift. Press up. Less talking from me this go around. You know the drill. That music is up. You shouldn't be able to hear me anyways. Good. Ten seconds. And three, two, and one. Okay. Dead bugs. Paint can or kettlebell or dumbbell goes up, feet come up, and here we go. Right side, lower down and back. Again, you might be standing for this one. Lower, great, and lower. Good, you should be feeling that core. I know I can. Good. I'm kind of happy <laughs> that my paint can's only about half full. <laughs> my arms are a little bit tired just from holding this above my head. Good. Okay. Already, let's come up and get ready to row on the right side first. Right hand, stand up straight, and then hinge, good, and pull, pull. I liken this movement to starting a snowblower. <laughs> In Minnesota, we start our snowblower a lot, but uh, it is almost summertime, so I would rather think about starting my lawnmower. <laughs> Any day now, that is exactly what this move is like. Good. Pull. I love the smell of fresh grass. It reminds me of summer. Does anybody else like that? Or is that weird? <laughs> okay, set that off and let's get our inchworm ready. 
You're either on the wall or you're gonna stand. Oh, I'm gonna turn and do it this way for you guys this time. Stand up and I'm gonna get ready to hinge on over. Walk out. High plank. An inch. My way back. <laughs> there goes my shoulder again. Oh my goodness. Good. How are all my all my inchworms doing around the world? Are you guys all doing well? I hope so. We're almost done. Okay, we're gonna start back now on the left side. So this darn shirt of mine keeps coming untucked. Okay, yeah, pink can on the left side. We're gonna start kneeling. Left side only. Here we go already. Right leg comes up first, however. Stand all the way up, squeeze your glutes or your booty at the top. Left leg note goes down, right follows. Up we go. Good. Follow along with me. Ooh, here we go. Good. Some of you might be standing in that lunge. That's perfectly fine. I'm just thankful that all of you are moving along with me today. I love that we can do our workouts anytime and anywhere. Even when we may have been used to going to the gym every day. Good. All right, move that to the side. We're gonna do our push-up with our left leg lift. Okay. High plank first, wrist, elbow, shoulders. If you've been doing workouts with me, you're probably tired of hearing that, but as your coach, <laughs> I gotta make sure you're in the right form. Push down, left leg up, push up. Breathe out on the way up. Good. All the way down. Left leg. Remember, lift from the hip, not from the knee. Great. Some of you might be in a high plank, just lifting the leg. That's great. Good. Okay. Our last deadlift, or not our deadlift, I'm sorry, our dead bug. All right, knees up, knees, ankles in line. Get that paint can, kettlebell, dumbbell, soup cans, whatever you've got above your head. Lower the left leg. Remember, flat back for me, please. Good, great job. All right, I know Lisa up in Duluth, Minnesota, I know you're following along. You're probably telling me that you feel dead right now. <laughs> uh, some of you might be saying the same thing to the camera. It's okay, I can't hear you. You could say that or other things, <laughs> but just keep going. Good, that's all I ask. Oh. All right, that's coming down and we are going to row one more time. Start our lawnmower one more time. Standing straight, hinging over, and starting the lawnmower. There we go, good. In between our shoulder and our hip, pulling back. Make sure your head your eyes are looking down at the ground for me, not up at the ceiling. I want your spine to be in a straight line. And pull. 15 seconds left. Keep going. I tend to put my hand on my tummy. It helps me to know that I'm keeping my core engaged. Good, sucking my belly button into my spine. Okay, alrighty. One more, one more inchworm. 
Get ready. Oh, all right. Hinging over. Starting at our toes. Three, two, and one. Inch out. High plank. Inch back. Good. You know the drill. Just keep moving. Some of you are in the wall. I hope you didn't dip your hands in the paint and then start touching your wall. Huh. Even though some of you are probably doing art projects with your children, it might have some handprints on the wall. You know, you know who you are. Good. Oh, all right. We have just a minute, cool down. If you need to get some water, go ahead. Uh, I want to do just one movement with you, which will be down on the floor for, um, or standing, which is an up dog. If you're standing, I want you to take your hands at your low back, and I want you to just reach your head backwards. Don't fall over though. Um, for those of us on the floor, come down. Put your hands next to a bunch of armpits, and I want you to press back. Lift your core off of your tummy, off of the ground. Lift your head back. Oh, all of those core movements today, you should feel your stomach stretching out. Let's just hold this here for our last nine seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. And come on back. Alrighty, folks. That is our core booster workout for the day. As always, thank you for letting me be your coach. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Thank you for connecting with all of us. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.30 Central Time. Bye.